Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are diving into a new application and this one is actually called Structured. And Structured is a daily planner application which I haven't talked too much about previously. Uh, and there are a few reasons why. Mainly because there wasn't a web version of this application so there was no way to actually use it on Windows. That was mainly the reason why I... Uh, actually haven't made a video about it uh, but uh, it is a really cool uh, a really cool experience and daily planner application which I really do like. Um, I have actually tried it out and I am trying it out once again and the applications I've tested out so this is available on Android, on iOS, on uh, the web uh, on the Mac, it has an Apple Watch application, iPad application. So I've tested out the iPad application, which actually works with an Apple Pencil as well. So keep that in mind if you like to write uh, down your uh, your uh, daily planning by uh hand with an Apple Pencil you can actually do that. It also has a couple of features which I will get back to later with AI so you can plan out your day on uh, a sheet of paper and then uh, use the AI to actually get it into this application right here. So there are a few things like that you can do. You can also talk out your uh, day uh, which I actually did here. And it did an amazing job at actually uh, planning out my day for me. Uh, as you can see, I'm not quite finished. And I have a couple of like small minor issues with this, which I will get to later. But the web version uh, just recently released. But before we jump into the web version, um, let's actually jump into the pricing of this because it has a pricing plan and this is the us pricing plan uh, so the pricing plan will differ depending on where you live and the purchasing power of that country mine is actually a little bit cheaper than this but uh, 14.99 per year 4.99 monthly or 49.99 for the lifetime pricing. I'm actually considering the lifetime plan of this um, because I like the way the application works. And the ma major thing for me, there are a couple, the major thing for me is just that the application, especially on iOS and the Mac, uh, looks really beautiful, which uh, as you may know, uh, matters a lot to me. That is like the first main thing. but. Even more importantly, I like to plan out my days uh, with a sheet of paper and a fountain pen. Uh, and I also have days where I'm just too tired to do it. Like, so tired that even just putting things into here um, feels too hard for me. It takes too much energy to add a new task like this. On those days, it is amazing to have that voice feature where I can just say things like, I want to start off my day at 7.15, I am going to work from 8 to 4, and that's when I'm working on a rebranding. But I also have two meetings in there from 8.30, so things like that uh, I can actually just talk out in uh, my in my uh, daily planning. and. Um, it will actually make a plan uh, for me uh, when I use my voice like that. So that is the main reasons for why I am actually considering just going all in and paying for this. Uh, the other reason is because I've always struggled with calendar blocking and I really want to get into it. So I am giving it another try with this application. But let's now take a look at just the basics of the application. The web version is a stripped down version of the application. So here I can't actually, or I actually can't find my inbox here. So uh, here I have my inbox. Uh, let's just say I'm going to delete my CapCut subscription. Uh, and I want to do that. Um, let's see, when do I actually want to do that? Uh, let's say I want to do that on Friday. Friday is a chill day and I have to do that after I get home, which means that it will be uh, 10, let's say 10 p.m. That's a good time. Let's change this to p.m. 
uh, and it will only take me a couple of minutes. Let's just say 15. Here I can actually add subtasks and notes if I wanted to. I can uh, change the color of this and I can actually pick exactly the color that I want here. So let's do a light green. I can change the icon here as well. So these are things that I would end up doing if I had a really good day and I wanted to like have a real uh, reset and just spend a lot of time with myself just planning out my days. I enjoy the process of doing it. Not everyone does, but I really do. Uh, so these are things I would do whenever I feel like I have a lot of extra energy. I would actually spend the time customizing things like this and just spending a lot of time planning out my day. And I can just hit update task and it will move from my inbox into here. And as you can see, the color also appears here as well. I just like how beautiful it is. Um, I can see incomplete tasks. I can see completed tasks here as well. So these are completed tasks that actually are in my uh, that are in my inbox and not in my day. I can also go back and see what I've done previously here. Uh, so you can do that as well. As I said, this is a little bit of a stripped down version. You have all of the features, but I don't think that the web version looks as good as some of the other applications from Structured that I've tested out. I really love the iOS application. Uh, I use it on my iPhone a lot. That is also what I mainly use to plan out my days. Here I can jump back and forward between my um, between my calendar. Uh, so I can jump into December if there is something happening in a month from now, I can jump back and forward here. So that actually covers everything you would need to use this application. As I said, this is just the web version, which makes it available on uh, Windows as well, but it is available on Android, uh, on uh, iOS, Mac, and on the iPad as well. One thing to keep in mind is that it isn't just the, uh, the uh, structured app web version that is in beta, the structured, uh, the structured cloud syncing as well is also in beta. I haven't tried it extensively or for long enough to actually say whether or not it works properly, but um, it is good to know that the application uh, as of right now is still in uh, the web version and the cloud is uh, still in beta, but uh, this application has done a great job at developing. All of the things they are doing with AI is amazing. The overall feel of the application is really, really good. I just love how beautiful it looks. And as I said, the major reason for me choosing an application like this is its versatility. This isn't an application for the a hardcore calendar blockers. So people who love a calendar, it syncs with your calendar. So it actually does that, but it, isn't like a heavy like calendar blocking application it is more of a fun experience and just an overall beautiful looking application so if you are a user of something like fantastical this isn't the best option for that unless you are looking for something simpler so a simple blend between a to-do list application a daily planner ish application and I think it is uh, uh, extremely cheap for what you are getting compared uh, to a lot of the other daily planner applications that will set you back a lot more uh, than this, uh, a lot more than this uh, application here does. So just quickly, one more time, this is $14.99 yearly. I've seen daily planner applications actually cost uh, this much monthly. I've seen a daily planner application set you back uh, around 18 USD each month. So it is extremely well priced in my opinion and an application I do really enjoy using. That was it for today's video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching.